Very good overall, but right now playing inspired ball, Eric, umaangat pa. You know, mabigat dyan yung three-point shooting and the field goals close to 50%. Field goal shooting and that alone is enough indication that he's, he's at, the, at the top of his game. And that's something that JC and Tali is really known for and he really expected to do. Kaya nga, talagang, uh, he's really in, playing inspired kind of basketball. 20 seconds into this second quarter of action. Laftimos is in there together with Dylan Ababu, who also had a great game against Enlex. Justin Shonchua, Paulo Hubalde, and Rico Meyer Hofer. So all Filipino lineup para rito sa Barako Energy. They're up against Mark of Douthit, Gilbert Bulawan, uh, Rafi Reyes, Real Cervantes, and Siuba ng inbound. Sunday Salvacion, a panliman player. He came in para palitan. Uh, See Jason Ballesteros, Blackwater in the blue uniform. Kaputi naman itong Barako Energy. Doubt it goes. Turn around off the glass. Second quarter. Hatid sa atin ng Motolite for Express Hatid Service. Call 370-6686. Great post move there by Big Marcus Doubt it on the post. Ito mga naman. It's a simple move that spin going uh, to the baseline really made uh, a lot easier for him to be able to take that shot. And without Liam Macmorona para istorbuhin siya doon, yung height, di ba? It makes things easier para kay Kuya Marcos. But you know, we talked about JC Intal. He's another guy who's shown uh, that he can really play you know, whenever given the chance. This is Dina Nababu. Had a few great games his rookie year dito sa Paraco Energy. Went over to Barangay Inebra, found the end of the bench. Hardly got to play, na injure pa. And now, He's back with Barako. You know, it's only one game, but it was a game where he was allowed by Coach Banal to, to play freely. No, na malasang inisip, na bakayu pusa if he doesn't play well, and then he showed confidence in his shot once again. You know, mabigat din uh, kasi Charlie. You know, you have a good import. Of course, double double performance by Liam uh, McMorrow in game number one versus uh, in Lex. No, apina ka maganda don. Sumuporto si JC. And the other players of uh, Barako as well was effective. That's why they were able to beat Enlex in that ball game. So if you have a, a, a good local support and you have a good import, you know, normally ang uh, nagigirisulta ay nananalo kagad yung yung kumpanya. We have to remember, however, that Barako Energy, they only know it too well. They started out uh, the Commissioner's Cup with four straight victories. They won four zero zero done. But then things started falling apart. They started losing, so not so close games. And uh, eventually, they were able to enter the playoffs, but were one and done. They went out sila got to the quarterfinal round. So, you know, it's important you have to get, to get uh, off with a, on a good start. But, you know, you have to be able to sustain it throughout the conference. I'm going to free throw see Rico Mayhofer. We'd like to greet a uh, happy birthday to the PLDD Vice President and Head of Home Marketing, Mr. Gary Duhali. Happy birthday, sir. Hope you're enjoying this game. 17 points ang uh, Lamang ng Barako, 34 to 17. Nasi Reyes trying his best to quarterback. The lob inside to Mark of Tautit. Sunday Salvacion, favorite spot. Offline and Tira. Marcos offensive rebound on the way up. Hard foul. Mula kay Dylan Ababu. They used to be teammates on Gilas. Version 1. Well, Dylan Ababu also played a good game last time out. He had 16 points. So, you know, I, they were supporting uh, McMorrow in terms of the point production. Well, you know, one thing that Barako can also work on, of course, they had a good game. But it's really the defense that will carry, carry them through. Malala natin ng si Sol Alabi, yung kadalang import last conference. Uh, defense played a key role. Lalong lalo na kaya nga sila na they were losing some close games because you just really have to be more consistent with your defense. Meyer Hofer from the outside, left it behind for Paulo Hubalde. Tayo pang oras sa kanila ng shot, Laku Balde. Able to pass it over to Laftimosa who flips it up and that's short. Pero hindi nakuha ni Mark of Doubt it ang rebound. He lost it out of bounds and kita mo yung frustration. He slapped that ball. It went 30 feet into the air. Very lucky he avoided a technical. Hey, no, uh, but right now, like I said, you just have to keep everything possible. Wala ka na talaga magago with the current situation they're in and with the way they started their, this game today. Seven seconds shot clock for Barako. Meyerhofer gets it from three point. I thought about it. So he gave it to Paolo Balde, who's short on that three point attempt. Two minutes into the second quarter, 15 point lead. Ito, it was as high as 21 just a while ago. 
Cervantes has turned around, no go once again. Two ahead of the pack. Easy layup. Look at those, uh, you know, uh, walk in the park right there. Uh, Marcos was already at the top of the three point line, but the guy who is to the kanya normally si Justin Chua. But he was the first one Justin Chua in the top of the three point And some chemistry, of course, between Hubaldi and Justin Chua. They were teammates uh, with the San Miguel Beer team, including Rico Meyer Hopper. So three guys actually who have played and practiced together in the past are, are playing together right now. Para naman sa Barajo Energy. Mark of Doubt, and here we go again. He's got 12 points in the game, uh, Eric. And uh, we know he will get his numbers, Debasi Marcos. But then, you look at the rest of the guys in the court right now. There's a guy with two, that's Rafi Reyes. And then uh, Cyril Cervantes may tatlo. And the other two guys have not scored on the bench as well. Not too much production. It's hard to play because normally it's going to happen in offense of Blackwater. There's a lot of one-on-one -on -one plays. Uh, and, and sometimes when they try to set some screens, and they didn't execute them well in offense. That's why they, they couldn't really get a decent shot off. And look at that, able to keep it alive. Ito si Justin Chua. Obviously, napag-usapan niyan sa practice. McMorrow was doing it earlier. Justin Chua just did it again. Now just stop that ball. If you can't get it, keep it alive for your teammates. Wilson, great pass inside to Justin Chua. Decided not to shoot underneath. Jump shot, no go. Bulaw on the rebound. Here come Blackwater. The love to Ren Cervantes. Aliyup, pekado malakas. He was really close and uh, good intention there by Real Cervantes to go on an alley you But it's not like he didn't finish. And the crazy thing is, you're right at the hoop and you can't pass on this black water. This is Carlos Timosa, just flips it up and it finds a way to get out of You know, well, one thing that Barack and Bull is doing well is they're just running the floor very well. And uh, whether they miss or, or, or they make it, they just three. keep on pushing that ball. Gilbert Bulawan with a three that's brought to us by PLDT Homes Evolution. Turns your ordinary TV into an internet TV. Not hesitate pa siya, you know? Buti na natinira niya. They got three on that play. Ababu missing, getting his own rebound, but throwing it away. Ito na Blackwater. They got to take advantage of these opportunities. But Laftimosa stops the action bago pa man may tawid ang bola sa timeline. What a headache uh, as we look at this uh, tatak move of the game from Carlo Laftimosa, who lost the ball, put it in. That brought to us by Holsim. Panataka, pag Holsim. You look at Barajo Energy playing very well in this game. And then they inject Joseph Yo, the ninja, who they picked up between conferences. And a guy, another guy who can cause damage para sa kalaban. Hey, you know, despite him shooting three points only in the previous game, we know what kind of uh, caliber of a player is Joseph Yo. Uh, so he can set up his teammates. In fact, you know, throughout the season, even last season, makikita mo, Joseph has really improved in his playmaking skills. Right. But of course, some scoring sa kanya ever since his college days. You know, scoring is, has always been a big part of Joseph Yo's game. Paulo Balde losing the ball at the baseline. And look, here's a James Forrest fighting he replaces Dylan Ababu so James Forrester this is a guy PBA fans have been wanting to see what kind of a game this he, that this guy has he was drafted high number four pick 10 the Barangay Hinebra and uh, didn't see much time and now maybe uh, under coach Koy Banal he might be able to show his wares finally uh, right there he can see a lot of Balacuna James Forrester is a guy who has great athletic ability He's just trying to get, you know, that confidence to, to strictly follow and help his, uh, you know, ability to really get up in the air. Palakunya ang kanyang layup. And they just can't get anything here. That was halfway down. Joseph Yo with the ball. And right now in the lineup of Barako, it's three former Ginebra players. Yo, ito si uh, Willie Wilson, but then si James Forrester. No basket there. 16-point lead para sa Barako. Eruela finds Valacuna. He takes that three. And that's what they pay him for. Those three-point shots. Brought to us by PLDD Home TV Evolution. Turns your ordinary TV into an internet TV. Valacuna had some good games last conference, Charlie. And uh, of course, kalang kung magkasabay-sabay yung uh, ganda ng laro ni Valacuna. Like even Marcus Doughty. Malaking bago yan. But that's way too easy there. Right there for Joseph Yo to just curl to the basket and pick up a high percentage shot. No help uh, whatsoever coming from the defense. JPL I'm going underneath on the reverse. And that ball almost went from the bottom up. 
That was an under goal shot. Kung pumasok yun, oh. kung nangyari ba yun, kung lumusot yun, eh, minus 2 ba ang score nila? Minus 3. Minus 3. <laughs> <laughs> Two free throws para kay JP Pierre, former Ateneo center. Maganda rin nila rin yan. I mean, makikita mo eh, uh, there are a lot of young uh, up-and-coming players dito para sa Blackwater Sports. Ang kailangan lang, because makikita mo in the past, you would really have some good games. You just need to follow that up. Kailangan lang yun, maipakita nila yun consistently. So it's really all about hard work and you know, having a good attitude. And Liam McMorrow reinserted into the game dito si Coach Koy Banal. Sensing that, you know, Blackwater gaining some momentum here, scoring a little bit more easily. It's the second quarter, halfway through almost, 6 2 remaining. Hey, if things don't really work at this point, Charlie, just um, pinaka important for Blackwater is just to keep the game, you know, within the 12, 10 point uh, range. And, uh, you know, they, they can just go on a good momentum or go over a run in the third. It's to set, set a target that it's not going to be a good team because this is a very dangerous team with Liam McMorrow on the floor. But he missed that outside shot, he settled. Ito na Blackwater, umatake. Eruela leaving it for Eram, missing that first attempt, able to follow it and put it back in. Yeah, that's what uh, Brian and Eruela is really known for, to really set up his team. His last conference also, Brian had a great game. And so far, you know, it's a struggle siya in the first two games. But like I said, kaya pa naman yan bawiin as long as they get their mindset in the game and their, their confidence going. It's a good steal right there. Got great defense, help defense mula kay Valacuna. It's only an 11-point lead para sa Baraco. Remember, 21 points ito a few minutes ago. So they could bring it down to single digits if they make a basket here. Robbie Ceres leaves for Eram. Hook shot. Nasu Palpalyatari, James Forrester. And a nice bounce back to the Ninja who hangs in the air. And be becomes spectacular here in the second quarter. And that's, a, that's a guy you really don't want to be challenging off the open court. Because Joseph Yo, kaya nga siya tinag ng the Ninja because he just got great leaping and ability and a lot of hang time. What a thunder pick mula kay Markov Taud. It floors Paolo Ubalde. Still hasn't gotten up. Pero wala pa rin nakuha ang Blackwater. Stolen back by Acuna. Can he preserve the possession? No, he doesn't. Here are the white shirts running. Okay na yata si Paolo Ubalde. After shaking off that uh, bump from Markov Taud. Kapag titignan mo nga si JC Antal, he is a picture of consistency. And that is because he has consistently been exerting effort to improve his craft. Aba, napag-alaman ko na very recently, he went to the States, self-funded, to train some more. And in this training camp, Charlie, alam mo ba ang nakasama niya dito? Players from all over the world, including NBA players, sina Kai Lowry, at nandun din si Liam McMorrow. It's a very small world indeed. At makakalaan pa nila dito pa sila ulit sa Pilipinas makikita. Pero that only goes to show, of course, the dedication and the passion of JC Intal to keep himself good and just even getting better. Charlie. Thanks for that report, Riza. Well, definitely, you know, the consistency has become more consistent. Diba? Para rito kay JC Intal. The, the double-figure games are, are coming more often. The rebounding, if he can't shoot well, he does other things. In fact, he even has a higher assist numbers now. Eric, so namamasa din rin, trying to become an all-around player ito si JC Intal. Well, you know, talaga usang na talaga yun yung training overseas during the off-season. Uh, you have JC doing that. You have some college teams doing that as well. Even the PBA teams, di ba? Pag meron na mga long break, you hear about them training overseas. So, malaking bagay na rin yan para sa improvement ng ating mga professional athletes. Nia yeah, McMorrow, napakadaling tira over J.P. Eram. 11 points in the game for the Baraco import. It's a huge hulking fellow. And a good touch from the outside, Charlie. Nice face up jumper. Feeling pa sa free throw line. A very good That's a good touch. Eruela kicks it out to Rob Shellis. Rob straight to the hoop. And we hardly saw that no huling na nila. So more of that, please. Ito si Joseph Yo. Good defense. They stood their ground. Blackwater on the attack. Eruela on the way up. Lost the handle. Lanete. Finds Yo from three. Di pumasok offensive rebound, Chico. Turnaround jumper, soft touch niya, talbog pa loob. And Baraco has found a way to fend off the Blackwater run, not allowing momentum to shift. Well, there, there were a lot of easy baskets or easy attempts for Blackwater, pero yun nga lang, they couldn't really control that basketball. So, you know, yung mga ganong opportunities, they had good attempts, pero they just couldn't finish. Here's Chico Laneta once again. Masito kay Joseph Yo. 
Back to the net, then. Eh? Nijina Nagmamadele. Baraka with a sizable lead, 15 points. James Forrester, eager to make something happen, leaves it for Willie Wilson. Doesn't get that shot, and Eruela is running. Sees Wilson in front of him, will attack. Pasok ang tira ni Brian Eruela. Aggressive move. Yeah, maganda na for Blackwater and even Baraka now. They're really going at it. Sagutan sila na sagutan sa fast break. I know they're really trying to push that basketball and get some easy basket. Ito si Forrester. Nakita natin a while ago, he wanted to drive the lane. He decided hindi niya kaya, he packed it off. But now really, it was decided to make that shot. Gets hit two free throws when we come back. James Forrester at the line missed his first free throw. He'll get one more. Exactly two minutes remaining dito sa ating first half of action. We're at the Big Dome. This is PBA Governor's Cup Sunday action. Papatuloy ang pagbibigay ng papremyo ng Moneyball Dribble of the People dito sa PBA. 3,000 pesos in cash ang makukuha ng ating best player. Kaya dribblers, makipindot na. In a little over two minutes from now, we'll have Ms. Mara Aquino. For Moneyball, Eruela had a couple of good sequences. Now, Laure goes to Mark of Dautet, who decided not to shoot from there. Pinilit ang finger roll. To no avail, ito si Forrester. To Paul Soron on seeing action here in the first half. And what a way to announce his entry into the game. Long two lang pala, sabi ni kasamang Roy dito. And he was stepping on that line. But Paul Soron on good outside shot. Yes, and uh, ang maganda rin with Paul, eh, sinuklihan niya si Coach Coy Banal uh, na maganda. You know, after nabigyan siya ng minuto on the floor. Look at him, the way he would pressure Rob Sell is really doing you know, a good job with the minutes that he has. Well, to si Sorongon, you know, he's been in and out of the lineup uh, for a long time. Nasa reserve lift siya ng Baraco Energy. He stayed around. But I know he's been working really hard. Got to talk to him several times. Former UP Maroon. And uh, yun na nga, napakita nga niya. That's ready siya. Makakapasok lang niya eh. Pumukulag ang outside shot. Yeah, he's been keeping, keeping fit. Uh, and that's a mark of a true athlete uh, and a professional. Because he really tries to keep in shape. And when he's given that call to really perform, he would always rise up to the occasion. So, si Robbie Celis naman, former talking text drop and texter, now with Blackwater Elite. And another guy who at times, you know, can really light it up. The offensive skills, you know, si Rob Celis. And again, as is the case for a lot of these players who, you know, get sporadic playing time, uh, yung consistency nga nila. Uh, not used perhaps to, to handling the ball as often. And, and uh, right now, you know, Rob Zell is getting a lot of action para kay Leo Isaac. Well, on the other hand, when you uh, speak about uh, going with the, or getting some action on the floor, Coach Koy has fielded in the entire, uh, you know, roster on the floor. Wow. Nagamit na niya lahat ng kanyang mga players. And then look at them now. It's even uh, Paul Soroman doing some uh, good moves there from the top of the key. And he has finished with a nice turnaround. Wow, talk about eager to get some action. It's on si Paul Sorongon. And he took that upon himself. Kanina sinet up siya from the outside jumper mula sa kaliwa. Ngayon naman, sariling discarte yun. Pero Mark of Doubt, it's sinagot yan. The is only 15. It was high 21 earlier, 32 to 11. We're under 40 seconds remaining sa ating first half. Chico Lanete. Goes to Willie. Sorongon once again. Now Chico on the drive. Iniwasan ng defensa, threw it up over his shoulder. Yeah, that was way off and the ball will go the other way with 24.2 remaining. So halos lahat ng oraf na yan sa Blackwater na. You need a good set here to at least cut this, uh, or trim this deficit or this lead down to 13. Malaking bagay ito going into the half. So wala, pa dribble dribble. Aantayin ang uh, tamang oras para umatake. Clock is at 5 and there he goes. Leaves it for Mark of Dowdy, who decides to drive the lane, gets the lane! A good setup job there for Marcos, and he was able to finish. Lanetta's heave is a no-go. Baraco dominated that first quarter, pero ang, uh, rather, yeah, Bar Baraco dominated the first quarter, but Blackwater, nagpakita uh, ng konting energy. Dito sa quarter number two, Eric, para naman makalapit. Uh, what was a 20-point lead? 21-point lead has gone down to just 13.